Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday. It is shot day for me. Um, as some of you may know, if you haven't been watching my channel though, I am taking the medication or active ingredient terzepatide. Um, I'm currently taking the name brand, which is Zepbound by Eli Lilly. And I've been taking the medication since um, April of this year. It is now August and I've been taking the medicine for a little over four months. Um, now I am on the five milligram dose. I just started my um, third box last week was the first pin. Today will be the second week um, for this box. I'll take the second pin of that box today. Um, it's kind of later in the day. I usually um, typically have been taking the medication closer to the mornings, but I noticed last week that um, I was kind of tired um, during the end of the day, and I was pretty sure it was probably from the medication. And I don't think I've talked about this before, but I used to take my shot on Fridays when I first started taking the medication, and I actually switched it to Thursdays because of the fact that it, you know, makes you sleepy, and it was kind of affecting my weekends. <laughs> so I started taking it on Thursdays so that, you know, if I did get tired, I'd be fine on Fridays. I can kind of, you know, um, take some naps or whatever and, you know, kind of get that out. It usually only lasts about a day. So, um, yeah, so I switched from Fridays to Thursdays. Um, I don't know when. It's been probably about a month now since I uh, changed my shot day. Um, so I haven't taken it yet today, though, because I noticed last week I started getting a little sleepy um, later in the day. So I was going to try or I am going to try something different today and take it in the evening. I've heard or I've seen um, some people talk about them taking it in the evening right before they go to bed. That way, you know, what I'm saying the medication can do what it needs to do and um, they can kind of get that, you know, uh, drowsiness or, or sleepiness um, kind of out the way. So I'm going to try that today. I'll report back on how um, I think it did for me, um, the results. And yeah, and let you guys know um, what's what. So, um, so update on weight today. I did still weigh in this morning. Um, as I spoke before, I do my, I check my weight on my shot days every week. Um, so I did still weigh in this morning and I had a little bit of progress this week. I think this is probably like the last that I've had since on the journey, opposed to, as I spoke to about in another video, what I dealt with earlier in the journey where I kind of went up and then went back down. Um, so I had a slight, a slight, um, decrease in weight this week, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we'll see what happens when I do my weigh in next week. Um, so last week I weighed in at 196.4 this morning. I weighed in at 196.2. So two ounces, I guess it's still progress. So I'm not, I'm not upset about it at all. Um, as I also spoke in one of my videos before, um, it, it can change, especially around the, the time of the month or, you know, when your cycle is happening. So that did just happen last week. So I'm assuming that's probably the cause of, um, the, the less, uh, progress, um, that's happened for this week. So I'm hoping maybe that's what it is. Like I said, we'll see what happens next week. Um, and we'll go from there. So yeah, just wanted to pop on and kind of give an update on my week 20 journey. Things are still going well. I'm still following some of the same um, tips and essentials that I've already shared before um, regarding um, being on this journey. Um, there's been some updates with Zep Down, Zep Down, <laughs> with Zep Bound. Um, I've noticed, or you know, I've gotten some some communications from them regarding some of the updates. Thankfully, is no longer on the um, shortage list, so they should have all of the um the doses available which is great great news there's also talks with them doing a vial um for the medication i think they're doing a trial for that right now so we'll see how that goes we'll see how, what happens i have no idea what that means for the pens um if they'll still do the pens or if they're going to do away with the pens we'll see what happens um i think i'll probably you know give some updates on that on my channel too when i see the information come in um and uh, in my email or however I keep track. Oh, sorry about that. However, I decide to keep track on that. So we'll see um, what, what Eli Lilly decides to do regarding the updates with the vials. And um, thankfully, you know, they're off the shortage list and hopefully they can continue to um, be able to provide the doses that we need. 
So um, other than that, I think that's it for today. That is my update for week 20. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. If you haven't already, um, give my video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Join me on my journey. It's been so fun. I've had some comments that have come in and some questions that have come in. And I've really been enjoying communicating with you guys and sharing some of the information that I have. And also congratulating some of you who are um, on the journey who have just started. So join me on this journey. Um, let's, let's communicate and share information and support one another. Um, okay, so yep, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, hit the bell so you get the not notifications when I uh, post a video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.